Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. It is, uh, it is a great uh, joy to be back here at Birdland. It has been many years uh, since I've been here. So one, I don't know how many years. It's been a while. Yeah. It's great to be here. Yeah, it's, it's great to be anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the last two years I haven't been anywhere. <laughs> so it's, it's great to be here. Yeah, to live music again and out playing to people is wonderful. It's wonderful. We're going to do all sorts of things. Before we go any further, speaking of it's great to be out, I, I would like you to uh, welcome uh, the members of this wonderful band. On the guitar, Libor Schmoldus. <laughs> on the drums, Sebastian de Crom. And on the bass, Jeff Gascoigne. So that, that first song was actually quite a, quite a bad choice. Uh, to start uh, a performance with because it's called This is the End of a Beautiful Friendship. <laughs> <laughs> and the beginning of love. So it's okay. Um, we're going to do all sorts of things for you tonight. Uh, this, uh, this next piece is a, a great jazz standard, been recorded by lots of people. It was, was written by... <laughs> a great composer... <laughs> Uh, I'm sure you'll know the song. Um, if you do know the song, in fact, if you know any of the songs tonight and you know the words you'd like to join in and, and sing with us, please don't. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can do what you like. <laughs> this is called There Is No Greater Love.
Isn't that a beautiful song? Oh. My bread of love. <laughs> We're going to do a, uh, I think it's time for a song written by a great tenor saxophone player. Yeah, Benny Moten. Yeah, Benny Moten wrote this. The song is simply called Moten Swing. So I don't know how much time he put into the name, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's a good song. It's a good song. This is Moten Swing. Yeah, are they both here? <laughs> they're not here because they're all at the trombone festival. I've, yeah. I was at a trombone festival last night, yeah, in the north of France, yeah. And there were hundreds and hundreds of trombone players in the room, yeah. It's amazing. I pick up the trumpet and they all go, boo, boo. Yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah. And one of the trombone, yeah. So I don't expect any trombonists here because they're all at the festival. <laughs>
Thank you, Merton Swing. Mm. You know, I didn't start playing music on the trumpet, or the flugelhorn, or the trombone, or saxophone, or tuba, or any of the brass or winds. I started on the piano. It's my first instrument. Pro <laughs> probably like a lot of you, right? Who plays the piano? Anyone play the piano? Yeah, yeah, a few, okay, all right. Not many people put their hand up because they want to say, great, all right, get up here. Um, who used to play the piano but no longer plays the piano, but you did play the piano? Some more? No? Yeah, not many, okay, a few, all right. Mm -hmm. I need more. Who knows someone who plays the piano? All right, that's better, that's better, yeah, a few more, all right. And finally, who's seen a piano? <laughs> I was one of the second group. I, I took up the piano. Uh, I started piano at six, six years old. Um, but I gave it up. I, I, I did. I, I didn't like the songs. I liked the, I liked the piano. I liked the piano. I didn't like the songs. Everywhere in the world, it doesn't matter if you're in Germany or Italy or France or Australia, Indonesia, it doesn't matter where you are. If you learn the piano, you learn the same songs all over the world. These ones. Right? You learn that here? Yeah. Same in Australia. Yeah. No, no. I mean, it's a very nice song, but when I was six, I didn't like it. I was like most average six-year-olds. I wanted to play some Duke Ellington. Um, so uh, so I, I stopped playing piano. But sometime later, I heard uh, the great Errol Garner play. And I went, Phew. yeah, I said, I have to play the piano. So I, I went back to the piano then and worked very hard to make up for all the lost time 
Um, yeah, because by then I was nearly eight. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, time was getting away. I think if you haven't got it sorted out by the time you're ten, yeah, don't worry. Anyway, I, um, I, I love playing the piano. So we're going we're to do a song for you that goes back a very long way. This song is, um, is way before jazz, way before jazz. No one even knows who wrote this song. It's, it's one of those old melodies. It's a Scottish melody, and uh, that's all we know. We don't know who wrote it or when, but it first appeared in the United States in 1862. During the Civil War, they used to sing this song. And at the time, it was known as the Battle Hymn of the Republic. And um, over the years, it's had many different names, many different lyrics. Um, I learned it in school. We used to sing it in school, but the words then were Little Peter Rabbit. Yeah, to the same melody. You know the melody I mean? Yeah, that's a Scottish melody. And no one knows who wrote it. So anyway, um, different people have claimed it over the years. But the funny thing is, there are certain composers early on, like in the late 1800s, that said, that is my song. It turns out that the song was being sung before they were born. <laughs> it's very tricky, very clever writing songs before you're born. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, we'd like to give you our version of of that Scottish melody. Well, I would, and I hope they join me. <laughs> <laughs> I would say we, I haven't really asked you.
Sebastian de Crom, Libor Schmolders, Jeff Gascoigne. We'll take a short break. Be back with some more.